What's really good, Friday Night Squad? It's your girl Angie, and today I'm back with another video. Today, today, um, first of all, let's get into the skin. Mm -hmm. It's just given. Shout out to Foos Cosmetics, the glow bar. You guys, y'all have a special code. Use the link below. Any type of discoloration or you just feel like your skin just needs some type of like refresh, you need to refresh your skincare routine where you have a natural glow. I'm glowing. I'm literally glowing, okay? And the bar, when I tell you, is literally anti-aging. This bar, it lasts a very long time. So all you do is lather up, which I think I'll show you guys in this video how to use the bar. Like my skincare routine using the bar, it simplifies washing your face. It simplifies your skincare routine. Y'all ever seen a video where someone used like 35 steps and you're like, okay, that's complicated. It doesn't take all that to have beautiful, healthy skin. Really, you just eat a natural product that has no parabens, um, no sulfates, none of the stuff that just no formaldehyde. Stuff that literally triggers the body to not respond well, even if it may give you fast results or you like whatever. And let me just make a look. Let me just say this. Our glow bar is infused with turmeric, vitamin E, and many other natural ingredients. And it's really, you. I can count on my hand. I can, we can pronounce all the ingredients. Of course, I can tell you every single thing because obviously that is the recipe. But I just want you guys to know that there is nothing in this bar that does not work with the body naturally that we couldn't read on a label and pronounce. Okay? Um, everything is very simple. Everything works together. People have showed their results. I have a lot of people who ordered our bar. So many orders. And I'm literally working now. So if you watch this video and you order the bar, please send me a photo of your before and after, you guys. And you guys will get a cash prize as a token of appreciation for even trusting the the process it's the like literally people are literally showing their skin now um it's funny because like my mom she recently just got the bar and because she had like looked like she had some type of chemical reaction like maybe something in some product or whatever and i know my mom used nice high level products and no shade to like high-end products or whatever at all because i do have my fair share of products but i don't put nothing else on my face um, I am not accepting any more collaborations with companies that literally is promoting as far as like face wash and like different things like that. Um, because to be honest, I am very sensitive and when I get to start putting stuff on my face, I immediately break out and it turns into scars. So I've literally had a situation happen and I documented my journey just to prove to you guys that the bar works and I'm going to insert that part here. But I literally, Dr. Dennis Gross love the brand. They send me a lot of PR and they work with me in the past. Dr. Dennis Gross is a licensed dermatologist and he is known for having really good products, really good results, right? However, when I use the moisturizer after I only use the bar to cleanse my face. I'm going to just be quite frank. I don't use any other cleansers. All the other cleansers are to me. They like super, super drying or like make my skin feel tight. And or they literally make my skin feel like pain. I don't know. It's like something with it. I don't know. I could be. I don't know. My skin is just very sensitive and the bar is perfect for sensitive skin. It's fragrance free for that reason. You don't need stuff with a bunch of scents all over your face because that means there are some perfumes in it. And that does not always react to that doesn't always respond well to everybody's skin. So when we were creating the bar, the bar was created fragrance free for a reason. We don't need all that just to cleanse our face. If I'm cleansing my face and I have a goal in mind to have beautiful, healthy skin, I'm not about to have I don't want to smell roses. I don't all that's fine and dandy, but that is something that naturally triggers my acne it's something with a scent it's something about the scent in it that literally triggers acne for me my skin I don't have any craters in my face I don't have any raised bumps or anything like that I still have natural a little bit pigmentation that I'm working to get rid of um and little spots in my face but for the most part my entire face went from this crazy transformation you guys in such a short amount of time it don't make sense i dealt with acne for years i tried so many different products i tried everything under the sun y'all see me i documented my journey on here of going to get my um hyper i mean chemical pills and all that different stuff like that i swear those chemical pills made my skin scar i had more darkness and more hyperpigmentation than ever before my whole face didn't peel i was spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars honestly on products that was not helping me and i'm not 
I'm just saying, like, I think the skincare should be so simple. And I feel like it's not enough of that. It's not enough people promoting simple skincare routines. You can do 25 different serums and all these different moisturizers, all that, if you want to. And I feel like there's nothing wrong with that if it works for you. But most people can't have 15 different products on their face at one time. Then how do you know what is the trigger? Do you follow what I'm saying? Like, if something happens, how do you know you don't put on 15 different products and they may not all supposed to work together, especially if you're using multiple different brands products. So one thing I could say to simplify my one thing I could say to simplify my skincare routine that really worked for me was the glow bar, period, straight to the point, the glow bar. That is a cleanser. With all cleansers, you have to restore moisture back into your face. It doesn't matter what cleanser you use. Cleansers are meant to clean. Imagine washing your hands. No matter how good the soap is, your hands going to be dry. So it is normal to expect some sense of dryness of some sort after washing your face because the cleanser is meant to get rid of dirt, build up, bacteria. I wear makeup. I haven't had to these days, honey. Okay. <laughs> um, the cleanser gets rid of all, all of that type of stuff. So any residue, anything deep into your pores that causes acne, that breeds bacteria. That's the point of a cleanser. So after you wash your face, you need to restore some type of moisture back into your skin. Me the homeschool stuff? Yeah, real quick. I got to download it to submit it. Oh, to my email and then submit it to her teacher. Okay. Esthetician. And I'm looking to actually go to school for that. That ha A time has to align for that. But I'm just being really, really straightforward with you guys. After you wash your face, you need to restore your moisture back into your face. That means you need to... Take a moisturizer that is not uh, comedogenic. I hope I'm not saying that incorrectly. That does not clog the pores is the bottom line. It does not clog your pores up, which triggers acne buildup, okay? If you do that, the whole washing routine is for nothing because you're still giving yourself what triggers your acne. So yes, the bar works. Yes, the bar literally takes texture out of the face. Yes, the bar goes with inside the skin cells and restores the moisture barrier. Because of what's in it, it will literally restore your barrier. It does not matter how bad your skin is. It does not matter. I'm you I'm coming from somebody who had the worst case. Y'all, I'm literally going to different um Skincare companies spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. Literally, none of that is necessary. You you don't need to get 15 chemical pills over a course of four or five months. Yet, yeah, all that stuff is fast acting. It works quickly. But you need something that you can daily use for your face to keep yourself, your face clean and moisturized and vibrant. Uh, once you have an experience, you have an experience. If you watch it and you got the bar, DM me. Y'all, uh, um... Y'all got a special, special cash reward because I believe in this. Oh, my finger. You spelled the bike, hell. Okay, well, he doesn't like that game, Riley, so stop playing that type of game with him. I, 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 the tear that through was flying around him, and if he saw him. Okay, well, mommy, and, and mommy is talking to mommy. our family. Okay, I'm sorry. Kwa, say sorry. Sorry. Don't go in Mila's room without her in her room. She's working her schoolwork. Y'all stop and y'all work it out. Storage stuff, but I truly and honestly need to organize. So like, down, like my guest bathroom at times have been like a beauty space for me. And so hold on, let me get some more lighting for y'all.
Before I clean our bathroom and um, our room, it's a mess. I got this chair I use for like crafts and different projects. It's just stuff everywhere. When I do my hair videos, it's just too much. So I need a pick me up. So I'm about to go downstairs and give me like this shot. Okay, so I got these shots. Like I said, that this company sent, and I took one yesterday, like before bed. I don't know why I decided to take it before bed, but I'm glad I did because it literally relaxed me. But. matcha honey and adaptogens so it just says you shake it up it smells like a green smoothie it tastes like a little matcha or whatever I don't know it has to seem like it's a pinch of lemon in it I don't know it just tastes like a, a shot like a green juice shot I don't know A, like it's a little tart, almost seems like it has like an apple cider vinegar taste, but not nasty. I can I can deal with it. It's very earthy though. It doesn't have. It's not sweet. I can tell that it's like it's giving what it says it's gonna get. Like somehow your schooling typically goes. Like now that you know you're homeschooled, like tell them how it typically go. Like so, what are you doing right now? Um, I think I'm doing something now. Okay. Okay. Speak up a little bit because that washer back there is kind of loud. Okay. I did after social studies, I would like to do science. Okay. How, so right now you're working on some type of project? Yeah. I'm, t I'm working on that. You're doing PE. Oh, physical education? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm doing some after science. Okay. They can't really see you that well. Let me see. Maybe we just close the curtains. Well, maybe that light. Okay, so anyway, you were saying. Anyway, so you telling us what? You. PE? Okay. Social studies? Okay. Talk up a little lot. Science. Science. And I think that's it. Oh, you think that's it for today? Mm -hmm. Did you see your teacher this morning? Yep. Okay, what did she say? Um, she said we did a good job. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to continue to disrupt you and Daddy while y'all working on um, your schoolwork. Make sure you try to focus in. I know it's a little loud, but make sure you just give your all to finish strong. When you stay focused on your assignments that dad is showing you through your computer and stuff, your teacher teaches her, I think I said this before, for like a half hour for four days out of the week. The uh, rest of all of the rest of the day basically is up to us to basically look at what they're trying to teach her and what she is to learn. And then we have to basically teach it to her as if she was in a classroom. Now, I'm trying to create her space in our um, in our home where she can have quiet time, which will be exciting to like finish the basement for that purpose. So she could just go in the basement because our home is open concept. So no matter what, even though we have a lot of rooms, it still does not shut off like distractions. Um, I might create her a workspace in her bedroom. Um, to be honest, like I might change out her chair in there and turn that into like some type of office space or like a desk situation, like a built-in situation. So I'll look up some uh, inspiration and, and work towards that so that at least until we have our basement finished, she can go into her room, the boys can come downstairs and play or they can play in the basement. But like it creates her like a shut off space. We do have a loft. And so that's where I initially in my mind seen it as a space for her to work on stuff. But because like I said, um, it's a open, our home is pretty open concept. We have rooms, we have levels, but it's still, um, it's not much like, it's privacy, but I'm saying it's not much quietly space. It doesn't, cause like if the TV's on down here, 
we, the loft, you can hear from the loft, you know, um, the rooms I feel like are really nice because it does create some type of quiet space to a certain extent. So I think that I'll probably turn her room into like this, like, you know, big girl, like, office. like pretty much office space. I was kind of contemplating that, like kind of over the, off, like kind of, uh, this is really helping me. Like I was literally getting a headache. Cause I haven't eaten in this 12 noon. You wanna try it? There's no drug, nothing in it. It's just Sweet? matcha. Do you taste it? Is it good? Here. It's just a matcha shot. It's not your type of stuff, is it? Mm -mm. It's too earthy for you. You used to love earthy stuff. But I know. So basically, I'm looking at some ideas on Pinterest, and I'm kind of like create a board, vision board for her, her like study area. But I just really want her to have this nice space where she can work on her assignments, even when she's on her computer in their meeting. They do video chat. Their teacher, I love her teacher. Her teacher loves her. Um, I didn't tell you guys this. I may have told you guys this, but like I hadn't really focused in much on the kids. But I'm getting back to like more content of like you know clean with me and stuff like that like this is my everyday life i have kids i can't my it has to be focused around my kids i'm sorry i it's my life this is what i'm doing so anyway um basically um what was i saying yes okay so i want to just basically oh so basically a place where she can, when they live chat and they do stuff, she actually can live chat and then they like look really nice. So um, I might just look up some paint swatches or whatever because I think I want to like accent her sidewall. I think I'm going to take out her big chair and that will be like the space for her office or whatever or her school setup or whatever where she has like a nice desk and all of that. Um, Something like built from the wall. I kind of want to do some a concept like that where she just kind of like scoots up a cute little stool. And uh, maybe I'll put her chair like in her closet because it's pretty big. And I mean, if she wanted to do some type of reading because they like to play in their closets. I mean, whatever. So maybe that it can be in there so that I don't because it's a nice chair. I don't know. I'm just really I'll be keeping y'all updated on that. But um, she definitely needs a designated space. She is a really high learner, but I was this was going to tell you guys. She did a placement test for her kindergarten, um, basically placement, um, because she does online school, but it's literally 99% homeschooling. It's all on us, to be honest. Um, but we have a curriculum. We have workbooks. We have things like that. So that's the good thing about it. And she actually gets to see other students. Um, she doesn't have a large class on but she gets to see other students and things like that. Um, she's placed really, really high in her testing. So they basically sent over a, like um, basically testing that she needed to do. And she had to answer those things as best as she knew how. And that is how they placed her. Mila did a phenomenal job. She paid, placed a lot. Like she placed really high. Um, and that's probably why she got a lot of favor and like her teacher really really like her and she never met her teacher in person but um she placed in a lot of her courses third grade level like they tested like for math and reading and problem solving and stuff like that and she literally her scores were really really high and we rewarded her for that like when things come like opportunities and stuff and things like that with brands I, I accept those because if it's to like give, like she can get certain things like new furniture and stuff like that, I make sure that I accept those things for them and like really work to get those things for them because like academically wise, she's actually is a good kid. Like we were having a long way. There was a time where I was like, it's touch and go there, you know, and it had always been such a positive, you know, she was a little moody and things like that, but now she's. I see her leadership, like she's showing more like leadership roles in, in certain ways. We still have work, but I do um, try to reward her because academically, like she's like through the roof, like she's pretty much pushing all A's. She has a B plus in one class. And the reason why she has a B plus is because we didn't really understand how to go into her modules online. And 
we was like missing assignments not because of her not understanding or her not doing them correctly is because we just simply didn't know they existed and we were kind of going and that was like weeks of that and so that's the only reason why she got to be a plus in one class so they're giving them a chance to um, catch up because the market period ends on the 26th i believe so that's what we're working on but that's a couple things that you guys will see in this year that i will be developing is a space designated just for her um and it may just be her room because that is her private room like she has her own room so I, I might just do something like that, create like this really cool, fun vibe or whatever in there. So she sleeps in there, but she also has a study space where she just be closed off from everything. Um, and then eventually it may move into a space in the basement, possibly. I don't know. Or I don't know. Like we, the possibilities is endless, but I'm a quick yapping. But I did want to let y'all know that y'all girl, y'all baby tested so high. We talking first grade, second grade. Um, third grade mostly like and you know she we always try to tell her like you can do anything that you put your mind to do she's like mom I can create anything you say that all the time don't you and I'm like yes you're very creative like I feel like she pulled that from both of me and Riley um, I've always was creative as a kid I used to draw I used to create like fashion models I used to want to be a fashion designer so bad me too. you do Wow, I could believe that. She likes to style herself. So we're going to be doing like lookbooks on here for her. Um, if y'all interested in that content, definitely leave a comment. But we're definitely going to be doing like fashion hauls and stuff like that. Mom, daughter, mom and son. Um, styling videos, like going shopping on places for on a budget. Like that is where I feel like that is where I like to, I want to kind of like jimmy into that. Um, so I hope you guys receive that content because she got clothes on the way. So I mean, it's coming either way. So we're going to do styling videos where she styled me, you know, uh, the boys, they'll be styled and stuff like that. I just think it's just going to be like a little fun space where it's just like all things like everything. Like it's going to cover everything. I don't want to be stuck in a niche. I don't want to, um, to like block any creativeness. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And so I can't wait till your little outfits come because that's going to be fun. But definitely leave a comment, you guys. And let me know y'all thoughts. And y'all comment, yeah, it is. It's like I've been checking the track, and there's a delivery that's supposed to be today by 4 p.m. Okay. And we'll look at some of your pieces that you got. Okay, but I why your teeth is right on your other teeth. What do you mean why my teeth is on my other teeth? <laughs> you you be the one that's talk. It's twist around. It's like it's like. Wow, it be your own kids because I have one crooked teeth. If you look at my smile, I got a nice smile. So the fact that you talking and you snag a tooth snag. Mm -hmm. The nerve, cause my tooth cricket. It be your own, it be your own kids. Y'all, y'all kid, man, y'all different breed. I'm talking about works, but it really don't. What is that term called where you think in your head like, oh my gosh, it works, and you just really excited about something, so you psych your mind out. Is that called the placebo effect? Is it? Yeah, I kind of want to take another, but I'm like, I'm gonna save my my pack cargo. They like denim, but like black with like the pockets. Bye. Like, when I tell you I'm so mad, like, I have so many outfits and clothes that I've, like, ordered, um, just trying to figure out, so I'm just going to go and get me some stuff like that so that I can know for sure what's really going on as far as with my measurements when I'm online ordering, because these do not fit and these are brand spanking new. So, if you, like, it says a large, but when I tell you, it's giving more like a size, like a, a average common size wear pants. Like, and they like, the, it seems like it's more from like a petite person, like a person that's like shorter. I'm 5'5", five five, but they was playing with me. They sent me these jeans or whatever. And I got a black dress. This, I, okay, I think that you guys both should just go ahead and see the time off stuff.
Bye-bye.